welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have the experiment for September update and um, <laughs> I don't know if I should be nervous or happy with this but let me explain what's going on. Um, if any of you guys have been following me, Amanda or Paula for any length of time, um, you know that last year we did um, some equations and stuff for the how many years series and we did eyeshadow lip products highlighter and blush um the highlighter version the equation was from reddit we took it directly from them the blush eyeshadow and lip products um we worked with yana who is 20 something messes on instagram and she had like a, like a micro fine scale or whatever that she was able to track her usages with um my experience, Amanda's experience, and Paula's experience as a painter, we worked it out to get like a good formula, or at least what we thought was a good formula equation for those particular three um, categories for blush, lip products, and eyeshadow. So yeah, so we figured out how many years of products that we own based on these equations that we did, and um, it was a little scary, and we had more than one person recommend that we actually see if we could use that amount of progress or amount of product in a year and to see like basically test the theory of these equations and um so we decided to do it we all do it a little bit differently um approach it from a different angle where amanda picked one product said it's supposed to last x amount of time and she is testing to see if like that one product lasts x amount of time based on the number of usage usages in her equation. Paul and I got a little bold and we decided that we were going to pick a year's worth and see if we can finish it. And um, But still, we approach it a little bit differently. Um, that's okay because all of us have very different painting styles and I think approaching it from slightly different angles, I think it gives us a better view of um, what we're realistically looking at, whether or not these equations are accurate. Um, like. I would say I'm pretty middle of the road for application as far as how much product I use. For some things, Amanda uses more. For some things, Paula uses more. Well, maybe not. Well, she uses more highlighter because she, I think she does like a cream and a powder. But I don't know. She's definitely not heavy handed. I, want, I don't want to say that Amanda is, but on some things she is a little bit more heavy handed. Um, I'm very light on my highlighters not so much on the blush, definitely not so much on the eyeshadow, but um, yeah, I'm not shy with eyeshadow at all, even though it's pretty neutral today. But anyway, we, we did approach it slightly from different angles. So we're trying to give you the best view from our three different viewpoints of the equations. Is it accurate? Is it not accurate? So on and so forth. So um, let's get into it because that was kind of a long-winded way to say um, we're doing the best we can to you know, come from every angle. <laughs> ah, it was first day of preschool today. Sorry guys, my brain is a little fried. All right, um, I am going to start with highlighter because it is my biggest problem category. And before I start, I'm gonna let you know that September 11th, moment of silence, is day 254. So when we give you, when we throw these numbers at you, um, how many days we've finished or years worth we finished, um, you know that as of right now, September 11th it is day 254. And um, let's get into this. Highlighters, hasn't changed, hasn't changed at all. I didn't think it would be. Um, when I did this and I picked a year's worth, I got as close as I could as close as I could, pardon me, with what I have in my collection. And I have 1.00937501 years or 368.421 blah, 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 blah days. So basically 369 days-ish. And um, haven't finished anything else, but I will show you the one and only one that I've been working on since the last update is Tarte Sparkler. I think I could potentially have this done by the next update, which will change a lot. 
it is you know, like there's huge pan here and it's getting very thin around the edges i am going to repress it but i wanted to make sure that i filmed this before i repressed it so you guys could actually see what it looks like and see just how thin it is like up in this area and i think um i think i might have this done by the next update if not it's going to be really close really close to being done and then I have two other highlighters in here. So um, this one is the e.l.f. blush. Notice the quote marks there. Um, I don't know if I can have this one done, and yes, I know I need to polish my nails, but um, I don't know that I can have this one done. This one, the formulas are so different between the Tarte and the e.l.f. This one is a lot more powdery, so you get a lot more kick up, and um, so in some ways I feel like I can use this faster even though this is technically smaller. I think this one's 0.9 and this one is 0 .09 and 0 0.07. I think that's what it is. Yes, 0 .09, 0 0.07. So this one technically had more product, but I do think I will use this one faster. And that's another thing with this experiment is formulation of said product makes a huge difference makes a huge difference it just it does and i i think that cream products work a lot differently than powder products and that's what we're finding out here this, this year and um i i don't know what kind of conclusion we're all going to come to but um everything matters it's not just about size if you can believe that um everything else matters too so it's a family channel folks get your mind out of the gutter um, and then I have this Bare Minerals that I have not even touched yet. This is the Rose Gossamer. I probably won't touch this this year, which is sad because it's pretty. But, um, yeah, I'm not touching anything until Tarte Sparkler is done, and then I will go right into the Depotted Elf. Got a glow. So that's my highlighters. Let's get on to... Oh, I didn't give you the numbers. Um, same as last month, I have finished 120.906 days. So I'm really off there, but I have usage in two, like good usage in two. And that comes out to 0 0.33125 years. So roughly a third of a year, but I have usage. I have good usage on the others. Um, let's get into lip products because I kind of have them stacked on the same spreadsheet. Lip products, when I picked everything out, again, got as close as I could, I picked out 1.0271 blah 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 years or 374.916 days. 375 days, if we want to get technical. Um, so, I've used quite a bit and I still have a little bit here. This is one category. I'm so not worried about. Um, I have left in the experiment this Avon lipstick adjuster. Getting good use on that Sherry. Look at that. I've got side pan, so I'm getting good usage on that. I will not throw it away, Sherry. I won't do it. Um, I have two of the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge C211s. I have a brand new one that I have not even started yet. They are deluxe sizes. That was the way I could get the closest on um, my product amount. And then this one, I am probably going to dig these out just for the experiment's sake. That is all I have left on that. I do expect this one to be done by the next update. And then the only other things that I have left are this full-size Buxom lip gloss in sugar. And then I have this full size Buxom in Raquel. And even though this isn't my update that I have this in a project, um, I marked it so you can see where I am. I'm right here. So this is definitely going to be done by the next update. And so definitely these two lip products are going to be done. And then I'm going to be down to just these. If I could flip it over properly. I'm not worried about lips at all not even a little bit piece of cake on those um yeah some people will take forever for lips and some people don't 
lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, which I, I got those out of the way first, and I only have like one and a partial of the regular lipsticks, I tend to pan a little bit slower. Glosses and things that have a little bit more moisture, balm, stuff like that, I, I don't know if I just um, put more product on or what. Using power drills next door. Sorry about the sound. Um, yeah, I, like something with a lot of pigment, I don't use nearly as much. And the balmy moisturizing stuff, I must just put more on, I guess. I don't know. I'm weird. All right, moving on. Oh, let me give you how many days that I have. And this will include stuff that is not in the experiment. I am at, are you ready for this, folks? Because I only use um, my products five times a day because that's how my equation is set up. So five times a day I can use what is in the experiment. And any other time beyond those five times I have to use something that is not in the experiment. Including everything I have finished, 1.854 years or 676.7845 days. So I'm gonna be probably at least double what a year's worth is, which means next year, if I was to do this again, which I probably won't, I mean, I'll tally for myself, but I won't do this as a project. Um, I probably should put that I reapply or apply twice as much because with glosses and stuff like that, I tend to feel like I need to apply them more. But I am adhering to the rules of five times a day for what is in the experiment. So we will have that. If I was to pull out everything that was not in the experiment, considering we're on day 254, I'm a little bit behind, but you know, some things are almost done and I can't count any usage on that at all until it is completely done. I'm at 0.51623 years or 188.424 days. So I think once those the lip gloss and the lipstick are done, that number's gonna jump and I will be right on target, I think. So not worried. I am so not worried on those. All right, moving on because I'm taking longer than I should. Let's get into the blush because I can knock that out really quick because it's only one sort of. Um, I put in 1.09629 days or years, 1.09629 years or 400.1479 days. It's just the way it kind of panned out, no pun intended. Um, I technically have four blushes left, five because there's a little bit in a Franken. There was two pans in here that I have in my Franken and then these two pans or clamshells in a pan and I had don't know why I did it but I had the tiniest little bit left of this um, elf blush in here and it's all Franken into this one pan and it looks like a crazy lot but this was domed and it is no longer domed and not that you guys can probably tell but there is a dip in there already which I find really nice. I'm, I'm happy that my blush is getting a dip. So my number is not going to change at all until this is done. And when this is done, the experiment is completely done because everything that I had left in this experiment is in this one pan. So I am still at 0.3789 years or 138.313 days. I think I'm going to have this done by the end of the year, to be quite frank with you. Um, if I am not finished this, it's not going to be a whole lot left in here because um, it just seems to be going quicker than I assumed it would. I, I'm wearing it today. I'm a little sweaty, but, um, and there's a the kid, always with the kid. I, um, I wear it every day. It's fairly neutral to put on and, you know, I, I, if it's the only thing I'm using, it's going to go. And, and there's my crazy daughter. Hi, sweet pea. Oh, you got your lip balm. You want some one? Okay, then mommy's going to finish filming. Because we're getting to the fun stuff. We're getting to eyeshadow. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. Just got a little bit of a cold, but it's it's on its way out, so that's a good thing. You want to hold something? Hold your lip balm. Or you can hold this. There you go. All right, shh. 
Let mommy finish. This video is already long enough. All right, let's get to the eyeshadow because we all know eyeshadow is crack. I know I'm not the only one that thinks that. You can get up on the bed if you want. All right, eyeshadow. I originally put in a lot, a lot. Let me scroll over here. I put in 375.4137 blah, blah, blah days or 1.0285 years. I have finished, and much like the lips, I only use up to six shades a day. And um, if I want to use beyond that, then I have to use something else. So including what I've already finished, experiment, non-experiment, I have finished 1.0576 years. I don't know, I'm having problems with my years and my days. Or 300. 86.052 days so well over a year and again this is this is to test the equation so that's why I am tracking what's in and what's not if I was to take out the non experiment stuff I would have finished 0.5199 years or 186.87 days but much like the lips I have some stuff that's got a ton of usage that isn't going to get counted until it is done. So now I'm gonna show you everything that I have left. Hi, Sweet Pea. Do you need more stuff to hold on to? Yeah? Let me give you this because it's, it's a light purple. So if it comes out, it's not gonna do that much damage to my bedspread, unlike the bright, bright red. All right, eyeshadow. What I have left, it's a little bit confusing because no, no, no. I only do confusing. Nope, yeah. that's it. That's it. That's it. I love you. No, no, no. You don't take parts of my camera. Good try, though. I love this we can get a picture in a few minutes. Let mommy finish. Hashtag real mom life. Um, all right. Let's get on to this eyeshadow before she distracts me again. Um, what I have left is my e.l.f. eye transformer that is completely transformed. This is what I have left, and this shade right here is not part of the transformer. This is a matte cream that I took out of my e.l.f. Everyday Smoky palette because I needed a matte cream, and um, I, it, this was an empty pan, so I just threw it in there. So this is not part of the experiment. It, it's just open. Go out that way. So this is not part of the experiment, so really in this palette these two are the only ones from the transformer palette this shade right here is actually the brown shade from this coastal sense revealed three sampler it is the the dark shimmer right there the dark brown shimmer so that is one the the lovely fashion flare coastal sense I still have a silver pan in here and one of these other ones is going to pop out one of them keeps popping out but just the silver is in there okay shh. and then I have the other shades frankened in here it's pretty thin but it'll still take a couple of months to do my elf mad for Matt. ready for this this is what I have left. This is not in the experiment. That is the next matte cream that I'm going to use. So I basically have this shadow, this Franken shadow, these browns, and this one right here that I'm hoping to hit pan on any day. So I'm feeling good about this one. And my camera's going to overheat because my daughter keeps distracting me. This Coastal Sense Mica Pigment is pressed into here. I should be hitting pan on this one any day. It's pretty thin. The Kaylin Orchid, this thing was huge. I ended up filling this pan up twice. And you can see I don't have a ton left. That is what I actually have on my lids today. Shh. Another Franken Shadow right here. This was these two evil shades plus a couple other things that weren't in the experiment so there's gonna have to get done this one is what's left of heartless queen and it has a little bit of something else in it so that's not quite as bright hey let me finish okay 
You can come up in a minute. I'm almost done. I have this Evil Shades 13th Hour. It's all pressed into here. Everyone wants mommy. Shh. And the very last one is, no, you're not going to grab mommy's eyeshadow. Good try, kiddo. You're only three. This one actually is still in here, and it's just a light purple that I need to finish. Hold on, baby. All right, now you can come up, but don't touch mommy's shadow. All right, here's my kid with her crazy hair. All right, that is everything for this. Sorry it was so long-winded and a little haphazard. Distractions and everything else. She's trying to grab everything off of my desk. I'm going to wrap this up. Amanda and Paula, they're going to be listed down below, along with all the links that I usually put in. And their gorgeous faces, they're going to be at the end. So um, if you want to check them out, just click on their faces. <laughs> ah, the whole crazy crew is here. All right, I am going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mommy, don't let your kids here. fight. Mommy, where we go? Oh, oh, oh. And have a beautiful and hopefully less crazy day.